Hi, this is Noel. How are you? Doing well. Uh, how, is this for Love After Lockup? Yes. Oh, well, great. Well, hey, thanks for calling in. What, what can I do for you today? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. So are you the one who said that you were going to call from the block number because you were um, nervous about privacy and everything? That's correct. All right. Let's chat. Tell me what's going on. Okay, so I wrote a lot of notes down so I could share this with you. Um, I'm a bit nervous and I'm private about this stuff, but if everything can go the way I'd like it to, I would be okay with sharing some of the things in a less private way if um, if my privacy is respected and the ones in this situation. Okay. Okay, so here's the back story on it all. Um, first, first things first, I'd like to remain anonymous, so that's uh, already been spoken about i believe we're on the same page uh so so well, the thing is is that it, this is a casting call for a tv show and if you're selected i mean you're gonna it's gonna be on tv you know what i mean can i be darked out while we, while we do the filming like they do in those rooms unfortunately not this is for an entire season of a series okay well Will you let me know if my situation is interesting enough for you? And then I guess if since you guys are legit and this is not a scam or nothing, then I guess I'll just take the chances and have to deal with the cameras. Okay, great. Yeah, tell me the story. Okay. Uh, is this story going to be uh, just between you and I for now? Correct, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I was working as a private investigator previously. I was hired by this woman named Virginia. She wanted me to follow her husband around, let's say his name was Patrick, to see if he was being unfaithful. After day three, I caught him with a man and being intimate at a city park. His hand was in the cookie jar, if you know what I mean. I gotcha. I was so excited, I yelled out loud and I blew my cover because I get so jazzed up about cracking a case. I couldn't contain myself. He stormed over at me to confront me. And his friend took off running. We'll just say his friend. Uh, I can't. I can't lie. So I folded under pressure. I told him Virginia hired me. He asked me how much she was paying me, and I won't disclose that number for business reasons. But he said he would double the amount if I reported back to her regularly that I wasn't finding anything incriminating with Patrick. You with me so far? I'm with you. Okay. A couple months went by. This is where the story takes a twist. Uh, Patrick and I became romantically entangled. Mm -hmm. Neither of us expected this to happen because I was as straight as an arrow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and anyway, um, turns out that the bitch Virginia hired another investigator to follow us and overheard Patrick saying something about wanting to just kill Virginia so we could live our lives and not have to deal with all the bullshit with her not lose the house and all that so she uh -huh. took she took that to the police and they put patrick away with the conspiracy to murder or something like that i forget the what the actual tr term was and uh, -huh. uh i have a restraining order on her uh -huh. and patrick and i still write each other every week it's been real hard but my best friend uh steph my best uh -huh. friend steph has been there with me spending a lot of time if it wouldn't be through for steph i wouldn't be able to get through this i'll be honest with you it's been uh -huh. it's been real strange. He's he was basically sentenced to four years in state prison. I won't say where for his privacy, but uh, we are still very much pursuing our relationship. So when he gets out, we were going to continue it, and that's basically my story. How long were you guys together for before he was sent to prison? Well, it was a few months, a couple months. Okay. And you said, and when is he supposed to get out? What's his release date? He will be released on two. Let's see, two thousand twenty-two now. Um, in the fall, at some point, we we're still waiting to hear the final date on the hearing for all this. But in just a few, okay. we just have a couple more years to go. Okay, so unfortunately, we are looking for people who are going to be released by the middle of twenty twenty-one right now. But that being said. Your story is incredibly interesting um, in every aspect of it. So what I'm going to recommend is 
you know, keep doing your thing with Patrick. And if you're interested in being a part of this closer to his release date, give us another email, give us a call, anything along those lines, because I'm sure there's something we can do with your story. Okay, that sounds promising. Now, what happens with these stories? I'm not familiar with your program. Um, will I be compensated or anything, or am I going to be um, just blown up for 15 minutes of fame and then people going to harass me? How does it work? I don't even know what to prepare myself for. This will give me time to, uh, to get it together. Yeah, so if you if you are select, so the, the casting process is a bit involved. What that includes is uh, a, a Skype interview that's recorded. Um, then I would have to interview Patrick on the phone. Then I would put them two together as part of a casting tape. Uh, then that is sent off to the network, and they make the decision on whether or not you get casted. If you are selected to be on the show, there is compensation. I do not know the number. Um, it's done with another department entirely. But that's exactly how it is. And then what happens is they will film you, do a couple interviews. Uh, they will wait for Patrick to get released, and then they will follow you um, and just kind of watch your relationship for a couple of days. Um, it's not a 24-hour thing. It's just, you know, the show is called Love After Lockup, and we want to see how your relationship uh, endures after he is released. That sounds fantastic. It sounds very professional. I respect that. And it uh, gives me a lot more comfort knowing that I'm going to be a part of this or possibly a part of it. So, um, yeah, I'll keep your, uh, your contact. Is that right? And then just let you know as we get closer to the release date. Yeah, definitely. I can't guarantee I'll still be on this project by then, but I will have contact information for those who are. Sounds great. What projects would you might be on to? Are you just kind of taking them as they come? Just take them as they come, yep. Okay. I understand that, sweetie. Well, I would love to be a part of it. Sounds like a good thing. Uh, I'll keep you in the loop and... Uh, I might even have a, a something that would be good for your ratings. I'm gonna. I was gonna propose to him whenever we got out, so we could uh, we could add that to the show too. I'm sure people would get excited about that. Yep, I'm sure they would. Uh, yeah. So yeah, keep me posted. Keep me in the loop, and um, you know we'll we'll try to get a tape or something done when it's closer to the time. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Bye. You too. Mm -hmm. Bye.